Dear assistants, thank you for taking part in the lunch briefing and thank you the organizers organizing this event. Today you will be given a very neat overview on the stakes in this important discussion on the European bioeconomy and the circular economy. I'm delighted to give you a short introduction to the topic from the perspective of the chair of the bioeconomy working group in the European Parliament. This group is very nice. It's crossing the parties, it's crossing the uh, committees, and I hope that your MEP will become one of the activists. I will be brief in my remarks this morning and concentrate on the political issue to let the professional tell you more about the details. We have now had European bioeconomic strategy at place for four years, and today we are examining ways to build on this. We can build on the gathered experiences and adapt bioeconomy strategy to change in circumstances. The European Parliament must support this review and give a Commission a push to move forward with the review. This is why a review is so timely. First of all, new climate change goals were set in Paris. Today's discussion is all about how the climate goals can be best achieved bioeconomy based on sustainably produced bio-based materials has a strong role to play in this fight. Secondly, within the framework of the energy union we must ensure consistency of ambitious uh, of our industrial bioeconomy, climate policy and the need to adjust energy markets for the post-fossil era. Thirdly, we have to work with bio-based materials within a more circular economy they can bring an, uh, us an added value for the climate benefits and competitive products that can not only be reused, but also based on the renewable materials. <laughs> Fourthly, bioeconomy is based on the resources coming from both agriculture and forestry. European regions are very different. Ensuring that the European agricultural policies and forestry are coherent with uh, circular economy. Two years ago, we took the crucial step to delivering the EU forest strategy. Wooded areas represent one of the EU most important land uses, covering about 40% of the EU total area, and they have been expanding steadily. Throughout the European, uh, the European Agricultural Fund and Rural Development, around 7.2 billion euros, 7.2 billion euros of public expenditure is programmed for forestry measures in 2014-20 period. Moreover, common agriculture policy is one of the main elements of the EU budget. Agriculture is a steady source of biomaterials. Regional and social aspects of bioeconomy are of great significance and jobs. When we, in the Committee of Industry, Research and Energy, look at the bioeconomy, we have a tendency to look it through the lenses of innovation and industrial value change. Bioeconomy is funded through research and innovation funding. This is also the approach of the current existing bioeconomy strategy, which concentrates on new innovations. I would urge you all to keep a close eye on the developments in the EU policies and analyze how EP can best streamline the solutions offered by a European bioeconomy into several, several policy domains. I expect that the bio-based bio industries will be of particular value in developing a more coherent approach to the decarbonization of the European economy. I think the new bioenergy uh, and bio-based future will be also needed to be reviewed in this uh, new uh, review of the bioeconomy. Thank you all for joining the debate today. I wish you a fruitful event. I'm very sorry I cannot be there, but I think that you will have a perfect good dis discussions and event.